So, you build a wall-mounted desk that gets lifted up by a custom controller. You then add controls onto the controller box to raise and lower it. And you add in some IoT commands because you want remote control and because you can. You then realize that IoT can take an age to send a signal and that you're too lazy to reach down to the controls that you actually put on the control box. So, what do you do? Well, you build a wired remote control and this is a short video about that. If you haven't seen the details on my custom lifting system, I will add a link here and in the description to that video so you can catch it afterwards. So, I wanna start by saying that if you're gonna have expensive equipment that raises and lowers against a wall, add in some limit switches. When that IoT doesn't respond, you're gonna be scrambling from the wall switch pretty quickly. Anyway, I learned my lesson and I had planned to build a remote control with some trim buttons just as an added bonus anyway. I should note I have on the cards to build a new lift system with limit switches in place, but that is quite a way down the line, hence this stock gap for the time being. The first thing I did was work out which switches I wanted and decide what sort of connector cable I was going to go for to plug it all together. I went with these switches from Amazon and some aviation connectors. I'll leave links in the description if you fancy picking them up for yourself. With those in hand, it was time to mock up a 3D model in Maya for later printing. Yes, I use Maya. Yes, it works fine for me. I don't need to switch to some other CAD software. Thank you for the comments in advance. Now, I went for a basic design this time around, though I might change this up later for some more beveling on the corners, just to avoid any unwanted scratches when I move my arm behind the desk itself. With the model done, it was time to get the 3D printing. But I'm not gonna bore you with a montage of it printing, I'm just gonna skip straight through to it being completed, because I also forgot to turn on the camera on the 3D printer. Now, here you can see me giving it a test run without the actual actuators hooked up. You can see the various lights lighting up to say whether it was going up, whether it was going down, or whether it was going up on the left or the right with the trim buttons. Now obviously, I do this without it being connected to the actuators first, because if you were to do something wrong per se, you're gonna be throwing your monitors up without being able to stop them very quickly. Now with the testing out of the way, I just needed to mount it to my minimal desk. Luckily that desk is made of metal, so I could just drill a couple of holes and then thread them using my die set. A couple of M4 bolts and we have the actual controller mounted. All I need to do is perform some cable management cleanup, which I'll get to with the other cable management tasks I have in a couple of weeks. My laziness is now one step further along to that future office I've always dreamed of. Now, I know I haven't done one of these build logs in a while, I've been too busy making client concepts come to life and getting my own ideas written up and submitting patents and all the other stuff I have to get done. I promise to do more of these over the coming weeks. In fact, I still have to do that pixel display. I still have to get it finished off and get it mounted on the wall. So subscribe if you haven't yet and if you're interested in seeing those videos when they come in. So that's it. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you really fancy supporting the channel, the Kofi page is in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.